Hey guys, welcome back. Over to the first time here, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my fall beauty routine. Now I have not done a routine video in what feels like the longest time. I think the last one I did was at the beginning of the summer, so I really thought it was about time I just update you guys on what my everyday skincare, hair care, and makeup has been, especially with the new season. Fall is definitely here. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy seeing what my everyday makeup, skincare, and hair routines are. Do not forget to let me know what your like must-have beauty product is in the fall in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And without further ado, let's get right into my fall beauty routine. So let's first start off with my hair because my hair care routine has changed dramatically ever since I got my tape extensions. Now, if you're new to my channel, you may not be aware that my natural hair is actually right about here. So it's really important for me to be using sulfate free shampoo so that the adhesive in my tapes does not get messed up. So my current favorite sulfate free shampoo is from Living Proof and it is the Restore Shampoo. It makes my hair feel really nice and clean and it doesn't totally dry it out. If you're also wondering, it is very difficult to actually wash your hair when you have tape and extensions. It takes me so much longer. I have to like go in between all the tapes and really concentrate on how I'm washing my hair. You can't be all rough and like sort of haphazard. So that's how I wash my hair in case you're wondering. I don't know why I just explained that, but there you go. So after I wash my hair, of course, I like to condition it and I use another Living Proof product. And this is the Frizz Conditioner. My hair is naturally curly. I actually currently have a keratin treatment in my hair for it to be a little bit smoother than what it normally is is, but even then it is still fairly frizzy. So I like to sort of start in the shower with a frizz free conditioner to tame my hair just a little bit. So it's a little bit easier to style afterwards. Now, as for my body wash, I love the beautiful shower gel from Lush. Lush body washes are probably my favorite body washes. They are just so nice and moisturizing and they do not dry out my skin and they also smell so good. This one really does remind me of fall. It's not a stereotypical fall scent. It almost smells like men's cologne to me, but a much softer version of men's cologne. Now, once in a while, I do like to use purple shampoo on my hair. I probably like to do that about once a week because my hair gets so brassy so quickly. So I like to really stay on top of that and make sure that my hair is a nice um, ashy blonde, which is how I prefer it. So I like to use this L'Oreal color correcting shampoo to just tone my hair. Now my last step in my shower is to exfoliate my skin. Now this is something that I definitely start to pick up a lot in the um, fall and winter months because my skin gets so dry. And so I do like to use the Lalicious Body Scrub. This is in the scent um, Sugar Kiss. You guys, if you want to smell what angels smell like, you need to smell this. It smells like pure vanilla sugar and the scent most definitely lingers on your skin afterwards and it also has this sort of like oiliness to it which really moisturizes your skin so that's all i do in the shower so now once i get out of the shower i do typically like to start with my skincare so my new favorite addition to my skincare routine has been my foreo I don't even know what you would call it. It's like a cleansing device, I guess you could say. I used to use the Clarisonic, which I did like. However, because my skin is really sensitive, I felt like it made my skin really red and I just didn't like how aggressive the Clarisonic was. Now, Kathleen Lights actually mentioned the Foreo in one of her videos and I went out that day and I bought it and I have not looked back because the bristles are actually silicone. So you do not need to like change out the brush heads or anything like that. You keep it as it is. And I also feel like the silicone is way more hygienic than a brush. So I don't feel like I'm sort of spreading bacteria all around my face either. So the difference between washing my face with my hands or washing my face with the Foreo is quite a big difference. I just feel like my face gets really nice and clean with the Foreo and also almost feels like a nice little facial massage. It's really relaxing and my skin feels all tingly afterwards. So I use that in combination with my Oranges Checks and Balances frothy face wash. This is just such a nice, very moisturizing face wash. I don't find that it strips my skin. Now my favorite serum all year round is, is this Kiehl's serum because it doesn't break me out. I feel like it almost adds like another moisturizing layer underneath my daily moisturizer to make my skin just feel really nice and like plump and just hydrated. For my moisturizer, I've been loving Lush Skin Drink. It is a really nice one, especially if you have very dry skin. It's probably one of my favorites that I found. Now the last step that I do in my bathroom is apply moisturizer all over my body. Is a Josie Moran Vanilla Bean Body Cream. It is probably one of the best smelling like vanilla body creams that I have found. So now I'm 
moving on to how I've been styling my hair recently. You've probably been able to realize that I've been on like a straight hair kick. I think since getting my extensions, I have not even curled my hair once. So this is how I get my very sleek and straight hair. So my first step is obviously applying a heat protectant. This is so important, especially if you have bleach blonde hair. You guys, my hair has broken off so so much these like little pieces right in front over here that basically look like bangs used to be down to here my hair honestly just slowly slowly breaks off it's sort of inevitable if you go this light and you are naturally this dark you're gonna have some breakage so in order to sort of help prevent that just a little bit especially if you're heat styling is to use a heat protectant my favorite types of heat protectants to use are creams just because i really feel like i'm able to get all up in my hair so my current favorite heat protectant is hot toddy from dry bar so then i just simply blow dry my hair i just like to make sure that it's nice and dry before i go in to style it so what I like to do is I just quickly run a blow dryer throughout my whole entire head just to get most of the moisture out. And then I will section it off and use a round brush just to smooth it out and to get it as straight as I possibly can. It honestly gets very, very tiring, especially when you're not used to having this much hair. It takes me probably about like a half an hour to 45 minutes to completely dry and style my hair. When I had my short hair, it took me maybe 10 minutes. My arm gets super, super tired. Once I'm done blow drying, I will go ahead and actually strain my hair. The straightener that I like to use is my GHG straightener. It's so I basically just section off my hair and strain all the sections and I like to use a fine tooth comb to get it really nice and straight and just smooth it out as I strain it. I find it does make quite a big difference. If you really want that very sleek, straight look, it's always nice to finish off your hair with a finishing cream to make it nice and shiny and sort of like seal down the cuticle so everything is laying one way. So I've been loving the way finishing cream. So that is everything that I do with my hair. So now moving on to my everyday makeup. Obviously my makeup changes on a day-to-day -day basis, but this look in particular has been the look that I've sort of just been very drawn towards, especially very recently. I just have been really enjoying a very warm, blown out, one color eyeshadow look. I just think it's really flattering, it really warms up the complexion, and I think it's very suitable for the fall time. So the first step to my makeup look is to prime my skin with my Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. You guys know that that is my favorite primer, so I just apply that all over my face and then I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Tinted Moisturizer. So I do like to buff that in with a brush just to give myself a little bit more coverage because I find that when I do go in with a sponge, it does sort of shear out the coverage a little bit. So I first start off with a brush and just buff it all over my face and then I go in with my Beauty Blender and I sort of just dab over my face to make sure that there are no brush marks. For my concealer, I've just been loving the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like everybody has been loving the Tarte Shape Tape. It's a really nice, very full coverage concealer that does not really crease very much. However, I do like to go in and set it with powder just, just to 100% make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere throughout the day. So I have been enjoying just baking very, very slightly with my RCMA powder and my damp sponge. I sort of just put a little bit right underneath my eyes. I let it sit for maybe 10 seconds and then I just sweep it away and I'm left with a very airbrush under eye area and my concealer is basically locked in place for the rest of the day. Now moving on to the eyeshadow look, I've sort of been jumping around between different palettes, but Recently, I've been really enjoying the Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Palette. So basically, to create this look, I pop the tan brown just above my crease, and I just make sure to really buff that out really nicely, and then I pack that really beautiful, warm, burnt, orangey, reddish brown color all over my lid, and I also blend that into my crease, sort of to make it look like it's just one color blown out. And the reason why I add that tan color is, is just to transition the lid color into the skin so it looks really nice and seamless. And then I take some of the brown eyeshadow and I just smudge that on my upper lash line, wing it out slightly, and then I take a little smudger brush and I run my brush over it with a little bit more product to really just smoke it out. And then on my lower lash line, I just really simply just sweep the tan shade just underneath there just to make it look a little bit smoky and sort of bring everything together. And then I also applied a nude eyeliner in my waterline just to really open up my eyes and this one's from Estee Edit, my current favorite. And then of course you just got to finish off the eyes with some mascara. So today I use the Benefit Roller Lash and then I just pop the two lightest cream shades on my brow bone and inner corner to really brighten it up. So then for the rest of my face, I just keep it really nice and simple. I've actually been loving using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow palette. I love using the bronzing shade to contour just a little bit. I never was really too into contouring until actually very recently, um, specifically using this product. Not only does it contour your face, but it also bronzes just slightly, so it gives you a little bit of a healthy glow, which I really like. So I just apply that in the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, a little bit down my neck, and my jawline. 
This may sound crazy, so brace yourself, but I am so, so over the metallic highlighter. I really liked it at one point, but now I'm much more into highlighters that are a little bit softer, that just give a really beautiful glow from within type of look, and I love achieving that effect with creams or liquids. So I use my Benefit What's Up Highlighter, which is probably one of my current favorite highlighters to use because it does give you that really intense glow, but it still looks somewhat natural. If you guys would like to see me do a video all about my favorite cream highlighters, let me know because I definitely have a lot that I've been loving since it's basically all I've been using lately. For my blush, I like to keep it really nice and neutral since there is so much like red tones on the eyes. I don't wanna put too many red tones on the cheeks as well. So this type of blush is really just perfect for that because it really just adds the smallest amount of like color to my cheeks without it being too much. And on my lips, I'm wearing what I would consider to be the perfect fall nude. It is Pop Beauty Sienna Spice. I really like the Pop Beauty lipsticks. They're very creamy and very long wearing and the pigment is really nice. This color in particular is gorgeous for fall. It's like the perfect everyday fall nude because it's not too light, not too dark and has those really, really gorgeous warm undertones. It's really gonna warm up the rest of the face and I think it is very wearable, especially for every day. So now let's talk a little bit about my fall style. Fall fashion is the best fashion in my opinion. I feel like I get really inspired during this time of year because you could just do so much layering. I feel like the more layering you can do with your outfits, the cooler they look. I would say that my style in the fall time is a lot of layering and a lot of accessories. I really like to keep the base of my outfit pretty simple. As you can see today, I'm just wearing like a plain gray long sleeve sweatshirt and black jeans. And then I layered it with this really, really awesome light gray Aritzia coat just to add a little bit of separation. I think hats are a really great way to accessorize an outfit. I feel like it really just brings it to a Another level sort of pulls it all together. Same thing with jackets. And then I finished off the look with these Jeffrey Campbell boots, which is probably my favorite fall boot that I have. I've had these for two years and they're almost like the only shoe that I wear throughout the whole entire season. And then of course, chokers. Chokers are probably one of my favorite fall trends. They've been trendy for a while now, but I've just been really, really into layering a ton of chokers. And again, it sort of just adds a little extra something to your look, especially if the rest of your outfit is fairly simple. And then of course I have my Philip Lim olive green bag. It sort of adds a little bit of color to a look, but because it is olive green and olive green is quite neutral, it still goes with so many different outfits. And I tend to wear a lot of just neutrals like black, gray, white. So I love just adding in that green purse to add a little bit of personality to my look. So that is basically it for my fall beauty routine. I I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what your fall routine essential is because I would love to know. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back over to first time here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking all about the Kylie Cosmetics